In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity, will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myths. But you, be self-possessed in all circumstances, put up with hardship, perform the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a libation and the time of my departure is at hand. I've competed well, I've finished the race, I've kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age. As my strength fails, forsake me not. I will sing of your salvation. But I will always hope and praise you ever more and more. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day, your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord, O oh God, I will tell of your singular justice. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. So will I give you thanks with music on the lyre for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing your praises with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. I will sing of your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who look to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. For they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the fundamental marks of our Lord and God is his generosity. Generosity in a way that no one had ever experienced before, that none of the, the, the whole pantheon of gods, right, uh, of, of, of the false gods, it, they, they could not hold a candle to the generosity of the one true God. Not only is he, you know, he wasn't just this distant God over there, separated from us. But one who enters into our lives, enter, enters into our very families, calls us his very own, and gives us mercy that we don't deserve. There's that line from Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. A wretch like me. I don't deserve the mercy of God, but he gives it to me. That's a mark of God, his generosity. The entire world, the entire universe is a mark of the generosity of God. He did not have to make it. He did out of generosity, out of love. God is love. He is generosity. So we, made in the image and likeness of God, are called to live as he lives, to be generous as he is generous, to give everything as he gives. Now when he gives, it's without end. He's eternal. He's omnipotent. So when he gives, it's this river of life that does not stop flowing. It never stops. And we too are called to do the same. Paul says this to Timothy. I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. That, in a phrase, is what a Christian ought to do, is to pour out himself like a libation, to give up his life that others may live, to do as Christ does, to do as God always has done, to pour out yourself like a libation. And then we see this woman who does not know Christ yet, some, but somehow knows him. This widow who gives everything, pours out her whole livelihood as an oblation to God, at the treasury of God. Why? Because she knows that since she is a daughter of God, that she ought to act in the way that God acts, to pour herself out as God pours himself out for us, who gives mercy that we don't deserve. Generosity is the mark of our God, and generosity is how we ought to respond in every circumstance. Now, in a few weeks, on July 8th, Something will happen which uh, happens to all young priests. They get moved around. And I will be moved to St. Patrick's Church in Rockville on July 8th. And this is the second time that I've be, I'd be leaving Sacred Heart Parish. Don't worry, the, my replacement is, I know it's, it's strange to think, but bo both cooler and holier than me. <laughs> Impossible, I know. Impossible, thank you. <laughs> But what I take from Sacred Heart is not just friendships that will last my entire life. 
not just um, two plus very happy years, but a lesson in generosity. Many, many lessons in generosity. This is a generous parish. Generous, yes, in the way that you give. Father Larry only has to ask for something for this community, and this community responds every time. Beyond his expectations, you would think you would have learned by now how generous this community is. Generosity in your love of your brothers and sisters here and in this community. Loretta's pantry is always full to the brim, overflowing with generosity. Generosity in the way that I see that even though we're not family, we're not blood relatives, you treat each other like blood relatives. And generosity towards your priests as well, a, a great capacity for patience with your priests. Generosity in prayer for us, we would be sunk without it. And a generosity that I've had the, the great joy of experiencing nearly every day here, a generosity of spirit, a great humility, and a generosity of people pouring out their hearts like a libation before the Lord every day in holy confession. And I get to experience the generosity of a heart pouring out itself, a humble contrite heart which the Lord will not spurn. And then in turn, the generosity of the Lord who gives without counting the cost, mercy, love, forgiveness. Your sins are forgiven, go in peace. I've said that a few thousand times in the past two and a half years. Praise God that you've responded so beautifully to God's generosity. So let's ask the intercession of the saints. Those who lived lives of generosity and found that the more they gave, the more they had. They gave their very lives and they won eternal life. For God is never outdone in generosity. Amen. Let us stand and offer our petitions to God, our loving Father. For all who who preach the gospel that they may have the courage to perform the work of an evangelist whether it is convenient or inconvenient with all the patience and teaching let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord for world leaders who must maintain a delicate balance of power to ensure peace that they may be men and women of integrity and moral courage let us pray to the Lord, 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 Lord. for God's faithful little ones who like Mary are true to Jesus and his church and generous to all they have to live on. That they may be aware of the dignity that is theirs in God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all the intentions recommended to our prayers, for all who are in special need of prayer at this time, that they may have, that they may have reason to sing of God's faithfulness in their lives today, and for the intentions of the parishioners of Sacred Heart for which this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have gone before us and have stood before the judgment of Jesus Christ, that this holy sacrifice may make up whatever is lacking for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Good and gracious Father, we trust that you hear these, our prayers, and answer them according to your most holy will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, be, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, and extend in your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabao, Lenis Uncheli Etera, Gloria Tua. Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini. Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Mysterium Fidei, Mortem Tua, Annunciamus Domine, Et Tua, Resurrectionem Confitemur, Dona Venias. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant francis our pope and wilton our bishop the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion O merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, Pretorius Perta Tamundi, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
could only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll be available in the confessional immediately following Mass, and Deacon Matt and Mr. Roop will lead us in prayer. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 